before this master, I didn't do any math related studies. I studied psychology, but still I made the decision to go for this master program since it also allows for non-mathematical students. After my bachelor's study, I came here for this master. I already had certain amount of knowledge of statistics. The first year was intensive, challenging, but in the same time quite rewarding. On average, there are about 20 to 30 people in the class. There's always a split between lectures and practicals when you work on certain assignments, but mostly it feels like it's one big practical since it's such a small group. I'm quite satisfied with the size of the class because the small size usually brings close the distance between people because students help each other. The master is both broad and in-depth. It's broad in the sense that the application area is very broad. You can use this theory in all the fields that are either in a business setting or in a medical setting, social sciences or in agricultural sciences. Statistics is highly mathematically related, but it's also very applicable. It's very easy for statistical students to find a job. I think the majority of people doing this master end up doing a PhD, either in the statistics field or in their own field of application, but then with a very strong focus on the statistical theory. Our study is interdisciplinary, both in the professors that we have and in the students. The professors come from different universities, but also from different backgrounds. They are mostly experts in their field. You also see that in the students that come from different countries, but also from different backgrounds. Studying here definitely changed me a lot. How to be more confident, how to seek for information more efficiently and more independently. It has changed my way of learning. I approach problems differently. Sometimes it feels like we actually know nothing at all since there's so much more behind every door that we open. I learned to divide a problem into specific components and solve that part by part and then in the end understand the whole concept.